I'm Marlene Bloss and I'm the program advisor and instructor here at Cal State San Marcos's Meeting and Event Planning Certificate Program. And I'm also the Associate Director for Meetings and Events at California Western School of Law in downtown San Diego, where I plan over 100 meetings and events each year. And I can tell you that as an event professional, nothing scares off attendees more than rain. So I'm glad to see this great turnout here. Um, I was doing some research and saw that U.S. News and World Report ranks meeting convention and event planner as number nine for best business jobs. <coughs> and the Bureau of Labor Statistics projects meeting convention and event planner employment growth to be at 33.2% between 2012 and 2022, adding 31,300 more jobs. So a career builder and economic modeling specialist also named meeting and event planner as one of the top five jobs uh, last year in 2013. And um, this is based on occupations with the most jobs added since 2010. So, so what does this mean for the meeting and event planning profession? Uh, if you've ever been to a wedding or a social <coughs> event or perhaps a trade show or a conference and you thought, wow, you know, this, this might be a fun thing to do, uh, now is a good time to um, get involved in the industry and take classes in it. I started out in, a, in an event management program myself and it was really through that program where I realized that this was the industry that I really wanted to be in and 15 years later I've never looked back. It's been very rewarding. So right now we have up on the screen a meeting mpiweb.org. Uh, if you want to take note of that website it has a lot of different resources from industry careers, chapters. Um, we have a local chapter here in San Diego and then another tab is the San Diego Meeting Professionals uh, website that you can find out more information about the local chapter here and then finally ISIS which is the International Special Event Society and they also have a chapter here where uh, you have resources that if you want to find out more about the industry you can research it there but what we offer here at San Marcos and at the Temecula campus is a program where uh, it started in fall uh, 2004 and to date has run 20 complete sessions and uh, the program uh, started in uh, Temecula a couple years back and we're proud to say that we have over 150 graduates in our program who are currently actively working in the meetings and events industry in San Diego and Riverside counties. Um, there is a project that uh, the students have to do to uh, complete the program and uh, they've worked on everything from fashion shows to chamber events, uh, civic events, um, convention and visitors bureau events and um, there was even one student who actually worked on a cadaver training which for her company which was uh, really interesting to read that project. Um, all of the programs are offered on Saturdays here at the San Marcos campus from 8.30 to 4.30 or at the Temecula campus on Mondays and Wednesday evenings from 6 to 9 p.m. So if you have an interest of, um, you know, if Saturday works for you, uh, then you would be here at the San Marcos campus or if weekday evenings is better, then uh, you could be at the Temecula campus. But what's great about that is that you can go to both campuses. Um, if you find that one week you've got a family wedding to go to, then you can take that particular class, which is also offered in Temecula. There are six core classes, and they're chosen because they emphasize a baseline knowledge that meeting and, pro meeting and event professionals need to be successful in this industry. Then you take three career perspectives, and those classes are designed to give our students an opportunity to explore different concentration areas within the industry. And then it uh, all finalizes with a project presentation that I mentioned earlier, and basically it combines all of your classroom learning with real world application because you have a minimum of 50 hours that you work on an internship, and there is a written project and an oral presentation, and both are really key elements uh, to being successful in the industry. And it becomes your project that you show to a prospective employer or a potential client if you're looking to to start your own business and it serves as your project portfolio. Um, all of our 
instructors are industry professionals and experts in their respective areas. Many hold certifications such as the Certified Meeting Professional designation, which is uh, a designation that I hold, um, the Certified uh, Meeting manager designation and many of them also teach locally and speak at industry conferences. Um, so I'm going to go into a little bit about the core classes. The first core class is fundamentals and uh, basically it's an overview of the industry, where the jobs are, current salary surveys uh, for those jobs and um, about creating and designing meetings and events and the foundation for coordinating and producing small and large scale events. Um, I bring in guest speakers in this class so that you can hear from different perspectives um, from industry planners and suppliers because I think it's important that you know we bring in a wide variety of speakers. I mean this industry encompasses social events whether it's a bar about mitzvah, a um, a wedding or a milestone birthday party. Uh, it could be a corporate event uh, from board meetings to product launches. Um, if you're looking to be an association planner, there are opportunities to plan trade shows and conferences. So we talk about that in the fundamentals classes, what opportunities are out there for you. Um, in the logistics class, uh, we talk about step-by-step -step, uh, procedures on how to conduct a thorough and successful client interview um, from knowing what questions to ask your clients and vendors um, when you're looking at planning the logistics for a successful meeting or event. Um, the food and beverage class is always a lot of fun because we talk about how to enhance your programs. I mean, oftentimes we come away with an event thinking, remembering the food. Um, and so how do you enhance your program with um, successful food and beverage planning? Uh, this course will talk about policies and guarantees when you're working with either a caterer or a hotel. And it will also provide formulas on order pricing and uh, tips on menu planning so that you don't or over order food and uh, not have enough food because that's also something that people will remember when they walk away from, from an event. Uh, legal issues for event planners, we talk about contracts and negotiations and uh, you know really legal issues are a fact of life for the event planner and so in this class we review various sources of law and the hospitality industry and examine their applications to event planners. Um, you'll learn the basic elements of contracts and contract issues. Um, best practices for event budgeting is also another core class and um, that's where we talk about creating a budget for, for an event. Um, we had a student who helped plan a wedding recently and she submitted this as her project presentation and I believe the budget for that wedding was somewhere around $500. Um, I, I was just amazed because I mean well you know the, uh, they brought in food from Costco and what was surprising is that even uh, the bride purchased a dress for the student too and that was included in that budget. <laughs> so it is possible to plan an event or a wedding for $500 um, if you um, you know really have uh, look at your bottom line and um, so we talk about you know forecasting and um, cost control in, in the budgeting class. Then in the presentations class and, and communications, uh, we really walk you through the steps that it takes to be successful in your project presentation, both the oral and the written component. Um, I'm, we usually put out uh, project presentations so that you can see what kinds of events that students have worked on in the past, and um, it gives you a chance to see, you know, what really what you're in for. So, um, you know. Communication, um, we also talk about um, working with your clients in effective communication in the meeting and event planning process. Um, after all of your six core classes and three career, career perspectives, that's when you register for the project presentations class and uh, that's an opportunity to showcase your event to the other students in the class as well as uh, your instructors. Um, career perspectives, we've offered the ind independent meeting professional class for those who are looking to start their own businesses. Uh, special events and unique venues is offered at the Temecula campus as, as is event marketing. Um, hotel operations and destination marketing and wedding planning for planners are just some of the examples of career perspectives that you can choose from. Those are, those are your electives. 
Um, open house uh, for this um, for this program is usually held in August, and you know that's your opportunity for a drawing for a complimentary class. So I you know invite you all to come out to an open house for that. And uh, how many CSU SM alumni do we have here? Any alumni of the campus? Okay, great. There's um, a discount for um, alumni. And also this program is approved for the Workforce Investment Act. Um, and that's basically funding for individuals who are currently unemployed and collecting unemployment. So um, that's available. And also military spouses are welcome to register. Um, and um, they also have um, access to our program.